also you want to start a new twitch youtube or mixer channel or maybe this is your first time ever trying it out you want to do some live streams get people interacting with you help grow your channel but you don't really know the right tools to use uh, you don't know if you should use streamlabs your elgato software xsplit today guys i'm going to be showing you how to set it all up hi guys it's careful gamer and today in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use streamlabs obs so in today's video i'm going to simply be showing you how to download streamlabs obs how to set it all up how to create your own scenes uh for the display on the stream how to add in your webcam uh, Twitch and YouTube alerts for when someone subscribes, follow your channel, donates to you. I'm also going to be showing you um, how to display your gameplay. Uh, but this video is going to be used with an Elgato uh, for gaming. So if you don't have an Elgato and you want to still use Streamlabs OBS, I'll put a link in the description down below how to capture your gameplay using an Xbox or PlayStation without a capture card. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Right, so you've set up a new tab on Google Chrome and the Explorer. What you're going to want to type in is you want to type in Streamlabs OBS download uh, and then you're going to get a link. You're going to click the top link, um, which is Streamlabs, right here. And you're going to click download Streamlabs. There, very simple as that. You're going to get a setup. Uh, once this download, you click on it, follow the instructions carefully, make sure you know what you're signing up for. And once you're all done that, very simple. Right, so you've now downloaded it. What you're going to do is you're going to type up the app Streamlabs OBS. You're going to click on it, you're going to wait for it to open, and you're going to be given instructions on what to do, how to set it up basically, but I'm just going to run through it with you very quickly to clarify some things. So first it's going to ask you what account you want to use, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook or any other streaming platforms. I feel like, I think the only that options is ID Live and whatever that is. <laughs> if anyone actually streams on that, I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, you can select whatever one you're going to use, but for now, we're just going to skip right now. Uh, because I don't want to give you my details. Right, and it's going to say, Welcome to Streamlabs OBS. You're going to get the same screen when you log in as well, unless you've used the app before. So it's going to say, Welcome to Streamlabs OBS. Import your existing settings from OBS in less than a minute and go live. Uh, so basically, um, I'm just going to put Start Fresh. It's going to ask me to set up my mic and webcam. So as you can see, uh, that's really bad lighting. This is my webcam right now, um, so which is the Logitech C920. You can select whatever one you want to use. You can even use the one on your laptop, which is the one right here, which actually looks a lot better. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to pick this one for the now. I'll move it to the side a wee bit though. Right, and for the microphone, I'm going to pick my Blue Yeti, like that. So there we go. Very simple. Uh, then we're going to click Continue. And you're allowed to add a theme right now, but we won't go too far into depth just now on how to use them. I might make more tutorials on how to use your themes so you can unlock different widgets. Um, as you can see, there are screens like starting soon and all that, but we won't get into it today's video. Right, okay, so we have logged in into Streamlabs OBS. I've set up a test stream Twitch account right now. Um, and this is going to be your screen, just a blank screen that says scenes, your sources, and your mixer, which is going to be your desktop audio and your mix. Uh, so your mic. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm sorry. So what you're going to do? Uh, you can name your scenes as well. So if you're streaming on uh, Twitch, you can call it Twitch um, scene. If you're streaming on YouTube, you can call it YouTube scene. And once you get different themes as well, like your starting zoom screen and all that you can name them different scenes but for the now we're going to keep a scene right now um, for this example I'm using Twitch so it's going to be follower alerts that we're using subscriptions donations but trust me it is the same with YouTube except it's just subscribers so it's just it's the, basically the same thing so um, what we're going to do first of all we're going to click into our sources so by clicking the plus button 
and you've got tons of sources you can add in. Welcome to sources, browse through our standard and widget sources, click on the source to get more details about it, and then you can click add source when you're ready to add it to your scene. Now these are the main ones here, video capture device. So this is where you're going to add in your Elgato, your webcam. Okay, so for the now, we're going to add in our webcam first because that's what a lot of people are going to have most because if you have like, a laptop like I do, you already have on a built-in webcam. So uh, to start things off, you don't need to go out and spend money on a webcam. So we're going to click add source. Uh, you can name it if you want because um, in the video capture device bit, you can either add in an Elgato, like your game capture, or your webcam. So make sure you know what you're naming your things so you can remember them very easily. So right here, we're going to kind of call this webcam. Very simple. Click add source. We're going to use my laptop one because it looks a lot better than <laughs> my, C, my C920 right now. Uh, you've got all these different things you can put in. You can either keep the device default or you can customise it so you can set your frames per second, what you want to do, your resolution and all that. So yeah, um, but for the now, we are just going to keep it simple and just keep it on the device default for the now. But feel free to customise, feel free to play with it about and see what the best settings are for you. Now, there we go, we've got our webcam in here. You can make it full screen if you want, stretch it all the way out. You can make it in uh, one of the corners. I always stream it and put it in the corners as well. You can drag it, move it about, and people will see this when you're streaming as well. So, let's put it right in the top left corner for the now. And we'll just keep it there. So it looks fine, it looks fine. Right, next source we're gonna add in, we're gonna go back to our video capture device add source and this time uh, it's asking if you want to add the existing source but we're going to add in a new one instead and we're going to call it our game capture or whatever brand it is you can call that like a lot of people call theirs Elgato but I'm going to call it game capture we're going to click add source and as you see I've got my game capture HD 60s plugged in right now I'm gonna click on it and there we go my screen just went back on my telly there we go there's my game capture at my Xbox as you can see it's perfectly in sync as well because I'm using HD 60s I'd really recommend if you want it for instant uh, playback as well so you can see exactly what's going on and that everything's working well again you can customize it if you want you can uh, improve the frames per second. My default is 30 because my laptop can't run 60. I know, what's the point of getting an HD 60s? But I like that instant playback feature, so that's why I got it. Right, so again, we're just going to leave it as it is. So we click done, there we go, it's displayed. Now, this is the problem sometimes, right? See, I've made a mistake here. When you're doing it, okay, always put a webcam first. So what you can do here to fix the problem, see if the game captures on top, it's going to be on top of the screen, it's going to be on top of everything. So if you've added everything in, uh, then it won't display. So what you can do is drag the webcam up to your top source and boom, there we go, it's back, it's back on the screen. Very simple. Next thing we're going to add in, uh, probably the most essential thing to make your live stream more creative and want people to start following you is your alert box please make sure you use your alert box okay like it says it is essential because it is and for this example right here we're going to be using twitch so we're going to get donations subscriptions follows bits and hosts you can all you can use all these different widgets for example i use follower goal sometimes um if i'm trying to aim for a certain goal that i want to reach donation ticker so to show off your most recent uh, donations or event list where you can show everybody that's done something like followed subscribed to your channel and all that subscriber goal there's so many things that you can add in but start things off just use the alert box click the add source you can keep it as alert box pretty self-explanatory click add source now the thing that streamlabs obs has done which is really really good is that you can customize it within the app 
when you use OBS, you can't do it and you have to go on the website, but on this, you can customise it whenever you want. So, what we're going to do here is, so we've got, you can pick the layout, so you can have the GIF and then the text blot, or you can have the GIF and the text, uh, sorry, you can have the GIF in the middle, text there, or you can have the GIF and then the text right next to the side of it, but for now, we're going to have it blot. What you can do here, we're going to click uh, done, basically, or you can add in another layer. So let's say we want to add in one for followers, okay. Wait, no, that's wrong, my bad. Oh god, I screwed things up. Oh no, I haven't, there we go. There we go. And then you can click this button here, edit, okay. So there we go. So click the layer, and then click follower, subscription, whatever you want to change. This is the default right now, zombie gif, basically, right? Title message, you can change media, uh, the animation, what pops up. You need to scroll down here though to see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to make it full screen just to make it more simple. So as you can see here, uh, let's start with a title message. So the title message is just going to be the message that displays when someone does a certain action, when they follow you. And whatnot. Sorry, my laptop's running really slow today, guys. I'm really sorry. So there you go. It says name just subscribed. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want. You can say thank you for subscribing, but make sure you keep that name bit because if that doesn't pop up, it's not going to pop up with the person that subscribed. You can change the font, font size, font weight, all that stuff, but we're going to keep it the same now. Media is going to be. I'm pretty sure. Yep. There you go. So there's the media. The media is the GIF that displays. You can change it to whatever GIF you want. Okay, so uh, if I click change media, there you go, and click all files. You can upload your own files. You can use the stock files, that's just the default. So look at all these. Uh, so say I want to use, let's go for a big Gunter, Penguin. Say I want to use that, I click done. And there you go, we've now got Gunter the Penguin. And you can select what sound you want to use as well. You can import all the sounds. It's got different sounds that you can use for the defaults as well. Uh, animation resub message. So you can change it up. You can have different alterations. It's not the same with follows though. So follows you can all have this, the same one. But if it's subscriptions and people are subscribing say one month, two month, three month. And you can alter it and say it and display a different message. Display a different sound so you know how long they've been subbed for, which is really useful. So there we go, we're going to keep that there as well. Uh, but to make things simple, we're going to add in one for follower as well. Uh, just so, because when you're starting out, you're not going to get subscriptions as well. So to start things off, we're just going to use followers. Once this loads. There we go, there's our default for followers, it's just the zombie running. Uh, you can keep it, you can change it what to whatever you want, basically. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is now. Uh, the volume's at 50, you can change the volume whatever you want, so you make sure you hear it though. Click done. A lovely thing that Streamlabs has done is that you can test your own webs widgets, sorry. Uh, so your followers, subscriptions, whenever you want by clicking that button, test widgets, uh, right, and you've got the display box here, whatever you want to put it, I'd recommend you put it somewhere where everyone can see it, very clear to see whatever game you're playing. Or you can put it right in the middle, sometimes what a lot of people like to do, or they like to put it in a certain corner, so we're going to put it right here so you can see it, so I'm going to uh, turn my webcam volume down first. You got your game capture volume, and then you got your alert box volume. We're gonna do this quickly. Test widget. Click follow, and there you go. There you go. Carol two five seven is now following. So there we go. We set up our widgets. We set up our webcam, and we set up our game capture. Now, once you're finished everything, once you're happy with all your scenes. Go live. Now, I'd recommend if you are an existing channel with a decent followers and you 
want and this is your first time doing Streamlabs, make sure you have a uh, make sure you have a test Twitch account. Okay? So we're gonna click go live. And you can update your stream info to whatever you want it. So I'm gonna call it test stream if I can spell. And also a good thing you can use you can share it with your friends on Twitter as well if you want to share it with them and you want to get more followers, you want to get them interacting with you or if they share it with your friends. Select your game title, select your tags as well. Tags is quite important as well in my opinion. So you never know how people are going to discover you. I don't mean like spam like a million tags in, uh, just what's related to the game or whatever you're recording. And when you're done, you can confirm and you can go live and that'll be you. Easy as that. Also, I want to make a quick note basically, um, make sure you know uh, what your laptop and your internet is capable with. So, if we go to stream, sorry, if we go to output, that is what my laptop can handle. I can handle 3000 video bit rate, which is quite low uh, compared to a lot of streamers, a lot of them do 5000, 6000. That's because my laptop can't run it and my internet isn't stable enough for it. So make sure you know what your internet and, uh, internet and laptop or PC is capable of using. If it's capable of using 60 frames per second as well, use that. If it's capable of using 6,000 frames, uh, 6,000 bit rate, sorry, use that. And encoder as well, select if you want to use your hard drive or your software as well. And that's it. That's how you set up your Streamlabs stream. Hey guys, so that is the end of today's tutorial. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's something different on my channel because I thought I should help my friends with um, how to set up streams because quite a few of them have been asking me how do I use Streamlabs, uh, what can I use to add in an alert box and all that, how to add in my webcam, such questions like that and I thought I should answer them on today's video if I can actually speak. <laughs> So if you have any other questions whatsoever that I didn't thoroughly go over or I just forgot about, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to answer them. If you need any more help, I'll hopefully be making more videos in the future such as this on so many other things. Uh, most of them will probably be about Twitch streaming though, so um, yeah, because I was thinking about how to make Twitch panels to display. Um, your different variations as well, a schedule, and how to use different widgets and themes. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to go ahead and follow me on Twitch as well. We're at 60 followers. Thank you guys so much for that. We're working our way towards that Twitch affiliate uh, partnership, which would be absolutely amazing uh, to get very soon. So thank you guys all the support for that. And I'm also going to be setting up a new Discord, hopefully when this video is out. There will be in the link in the description down below. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.